Hey, what is going on guys? Dr. Chosen here and today I'm going to be showing you guys a little tutorial on how to make an ice cream cone build and a banana split as shown in the video um, previously. This is my ice cream land where I'm making a bunch of treats for my Candyland adventure map. And so today I'm just going to go over a tutorial really quickly on how to build this design right here. Very pretty with sprinkler and over here with this ice cream cone. So before we go ahead and get started, if you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe and like button uh, up front of the video. It really helps me grow in the channel. And yeah, let's go ahead and hop right into it. Okay, now that we have all of the ingredients we need, um, which is stripped jungle log, brown terracotta, snow block, red concrete, dark oak fence, and snow, we're gonna go ahead and wanna type this command in the chat and that'll be give your name, Minecraft item frame. And then I'll have entity tag invisible one. And what this does, whoops, one second. What this does is this will give you an item frame with an NBT tag one, and then the item frame now will be invisible. And that's how we get this sprinkle, sprinkle effect you see here, is because these are actually slabs and item frames, but you can't see them because, you know, the item frame is visible. So we're gonna go ahead and build this and start it right over here. So first you're gonna start by a two by two base and go four blocks up. Now what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna make a layer that goes out and around it all the way up around five times. I'm gonna go ahead and do a time lapse, skip it so you guys don't have to watch me place every single individual block. Now we're going to go ahead and fill all this up with snow blocks. Now you can just use one command really quickly, or you can just fill it in by hand. Next, you're going to want to start filling this these area around it with snow. You're going to leave a two by two area, like a right angle, on each side, and then that's going to be where we put a lower snow, the flat snow. Now once we get to this top platform where we have 4x4 four four, and it's looking like a plus sign at the top, we're going to go up by 2 instead of 1. And you can see it looks like that. And then from here, we're going to go 2 more on top of this. Boom. See that? And if you want, you can make it thicker. You know, this is obviously up to interpretation, but you get the idea of what a pattern I've been using to make it look more natural. And then you're going to go on this either back corner, whatever way you want to face. I'm going to go on this side, two more, make it look like a swirl, put a cherry, two, you know, dark oak fence going here, here, up, here, here. And boom, here's your ice cream cone. Alright, now that we have this general base layout of the snow ice cream cone, we can go ahead and start putting in the layer of snow and the brown terracotta. The brown terracotta, which represents obviously the chocolate icing. So I'm just going to run this pattern down really simply, like this, boom. You know, just try to make it like look like a natural drizzle all the way down. Boom, boom. And you're just going to do this as much as you want on each side, depending on how much. And if you don't want any chocolate icing on it, then you can go ahead and skip this design process. But boom, there you go. You can also go ahead and do it up here if you want. You know, it doesn't really matter just how much you want. is up to you entirely. Now for the last two parts, we're going to go ahead and put snow. And you're gonna just want to start to fill in this area over here and try to make it a little bit more even going all the way up so it looks less blocky and then this is also what you're gonna to do to fill in the corners boom all right now we have this plot now the very last thing we're going to do, I'm going to type a command in chat. This command will also be in the description of the video, so be sure to check it out. And this command will be to give you invisible item frames. And the command for that is give your name item frame entity tag invisible one. Boom. You're going to do that. Then you're going to go into your inventory. You're going to pull out whatever colored, you know, sprinkles you want, quote unquote. Boom. Pink. Blue. These are my five for the palette. And you're going to start using the invisible item frame. 
to put the sprinkles on. Now this also works for buttons if you're playing on Xbox or Bedrock version, or if you're not, for whatever reason you're not able to get commands, uh, you can do that in that way. But personally, I think the item frame just work best because you can do things like this where you have four sprinkles this close together. Okay, I'm not going to go all the way down, but once you get that design done, it's going to start to look like this, and it looks really pretty. And obviously you could go through and make it look a little bit better with extra snow, be a little more precise. But yeah, that's about it. This is how you make an ice cream cone design in Minecraft. And now let's go ahead and get to the banana split. Cool. Now we're going to go ahead and get right into building the banana split design. You can see it right here. It looks really cool, right? So what we're going to go ahead and start with is I'm going to make the base platform. Now bear with me, I'm going to be going back and forth between looking at this and actually building it because it was a little bit hard to get it precise. So, but we're going to go ahead and hop right into it. So the first thing you want to do, get your blue concrete and you're going to place 17 in a row. Boom, 17. Then you're going to place a polished diorite stairs facing this way and this way. And then you're going to go 7 concrete this way. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I think it's 8 actually. Let me double check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yep. 8. And then you're going to go 8 right up here. Place another polished diorite stairs here. And you're going to place place a solid block there. There. And you're going to repeat this on the other side. Now you're going to go 2 polished diorite out on each side. Like this. Boom, boom. Level this up to 2 height, just like on the other side. And everything you do, you're just going to want to make sure to mirror. I'm going to try and speed up the building process a bit, but basically, anything you see on this wall, you copy on this wall, and anything you see on this one, you copy on this side. So now we're going to go ahead and do the bowl shape. We're going to put a stairs like this. We're going to go boom, 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 all the way like this to give it the bowl a little bit more shape. Then we're going to do the same thing on this side. Now you have it looking like this, and now you can go ahead and fill the inside in with blue concrete. You can use slash fill command, or you can just put it all in manually. There we go. Now that our bowl's set up, we can go ahead and keep going. So what we're going to want to do here now is we're going to place this staircase here, as so, as looking over there. This is going to go here. Boom, boom, and boom. So this pattern is looking a little weird, but this is basically the general idea. You want to place a staircase facing this way, and that one facing this way, and it will create this pattern. Then this one you want to put against that staircase. Do this, this, and repeat that for the other side in all four corners. Cool, now you have this pattern, double check to make sure it's all correct, and it is. Now we can start with the bananas. The bananas are going to be used making endstone bricks. Once we get the endstone bricks, we're going to start by doing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right in the middle here. 3, 4, 5, make sure it is centered, 3, 3, there we go. And you're going to go, two, the bananas are too wide, and you're going to do it like this. Now from here, we want to slowly gradually increase the banana on each side and then round off each edge as much as we can in Minecraft. So we're going to do slab, solid, solid, stair, solid, stair, stair. And I know I said that really fast, but I'll go ahead and do it over here really slowly. So we're going to do this, slab, boom, solid, solid, right? So we have our five, our slab, two solid blocks. Now here we're going to add our staircase, right there, another solid block, boom, here, staircase, and then the last staircase will be facing this way, and then we round it off like that. And then you can come over here if you want, you don't really see this inside, but you can do that. And then here you can do the same thing, it's really up to personal preference, you don't have to be too picky about it though. Boom, boom. And boom oops there we go cool looks good and then you're gonna repeat that pattern I just did for that other side of the banana and then you're gonna copy the banana and paste it over here so let's go ahead and do that
We have our two bananas in place. We can go ahead and do the main ice cream dish and the two strawberry ice creams on the side. Now I'm just going to do the exact same pattern that you saw from the ice cream cone earlier, which is very basic, right? Two As you can see, it's the same pattern, you know, basically for the snow as the ice cream cones over here. And then we're going to do the same thing for the pink concrete uh, strawberry ice cream over here. And these, make sure to make them 4x4 so they look different from the main dish because you want them to be contrast a bit. And boom, you have this design looking a bit, you know, a bit more like this. And then you can do the same exact thing you did with the sprinkles and the item frames on the previous build. And just put it all over the top, so I'm going to go ahead and do a little time lapse and skip it while I go ahead and do that. But yeah, here you go. This is the final banana split design that I made a few days ago. Uh, this will be used in the Candyland or Candy Island map that I will be building and releasing around April. And if you haven't played my other adventure maps or PvP maps, be sure to check those out. Crystal Avalanche trailer, I'll leave in the description below and it'll be highlighted at the end of this video. If you enjoy my content, please be sure to hit subscribe button, it means a lot, and I'll be sure to pump out more videos here. If you have any tutorials like for world edit or builds that you want to see, maybe the Jello Creeper, go ahead and leave those comments below and I'll be sure to get to them. And thank you guys for watching so much, I appreciate it. And you have a good rest of your day, morning, afternoon, wherever you're from. Bye-bye.